Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna and if you're coming back from a previous video, then thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad to have all of you here for a little week in my life. I have not done a week in my life in a while. Uh, I've been doing like days and like other little videos, but I figured I would do one. Today is currently Monday, January 30th, so it's the last day of January? No, the second to last day. Wait, I don't know. Wait, is today the last day of January? Um, no, the second to last day of January. I feel like January has gone by so, so fast, but it's currently 8.55. I got up around like 8.20. I logged into work as you saw, and I had my like morning meeting. Um, it's normally from 8.30 to 9, but nobody had anything going on too much this morning yet. So it was only from like 8.30 to 8.55. And now I am going to go ahead and get ready because I have a meeting at 9.30. So so today I have meetings from, let me see, um, 9.30 to 10. This looks so weird. This is like my knee. I don't have like pajama pants on. Um, well, I have shorts on. Um, it's from 9.30 to 10 and then I have one from 1 to 1.30, then 1.30 to 2, and then 3 to 3.30. So I have a couple little meetings today. None longer than an hour or no, none longer than 30 minutes. So that is good. But I think I'm going to like put my camera on and everything for the meeting at 9.30. So I have like about 30 minutes to go ahead and get ready for that. But yeah, I thought I would just go ahead and do a week in my life. I haven't done one, like I said, in a while. And this week, I don't have like a ton of like exciting plans. I think it's just going to be like a typical week in my life in 2023. I am obviously like at home today. Um, and then I might go to Duncan. I've actually done a no Duncan and dry January, January. So like I haven't had Duncan all month and I've had no alcohol all month. I've done dry January. It's my second to last day of it proud of myself um I honestly don't drink that much it's just like at work when there's happy hours I like to drink and like I mean I occasionally like like a mimosa in the morning on the weekends or just like um I went out to dinner and like I probably would have ordered a drink. I went to Olive Garden and they had drinks. I went to breakfast and I maybe would have ordered a mimosa or something like that. It wasn't like too hard. It was just kind of probably the hardest at work happy hours when literally everybody is like drinking and I just had to like stand there like cool guys how's how's the drink tasting but overall it's been fine dry january has been good um so i haven't done alcohol all of january and i haven't done duncan all of january and i might go to duncan today and i don't know if i'm gonna drink it today but i might go today because on like the duncan app there are so many like deals um and they expire at the end of every month and so like there's there's just such good deals that like i might just like order the drink and then like drink it on wednesday Wednesday and like put it in my fridge or freezer or something so I have gone to Duncan it says two out of 12 times this month I went to Duncan one time with my mom and we just got hot chocolate so I didn't get coffee I've only had coffee one time this month and it was at work when they took us to like this really cute coffee place and like I felt rude not to order anything because they were paying for it and it was it would just be awkward if I didn't order anything and so I got a coffee then and that's the only time I've had coffee this month um, but I went to Duncan one time and got a hot chocolate then one time I went to Duncan and ordered coffee for my grandparents but I didn't have any but I might go today because you earn 100 bonus points when you order ahead on Mondays and then I have like a two dollar medium iced coffee when I order ahead a dollar medium midnight coffee when I order ahead free iced coffee with any purchase free cold brew with any purchase and then a two dollar medium hotter iced latte um and then order a medium or larger coffee and get a donut for a dollar so like there's a lot of like little deals that like I miss out on like if I don't use them in January and tomorrow I'm going into the office so I kind of have to like do it today um but yeah um, all that said with Duncan I might go to Duncan at some point today and then I have a choir tonight I joined a choir and we meet every Monday night um from 7 30 to 9 30 but before the choir tonight my mom and I are actually going out to dinner uh, on the border because me and her bought my aunt and uncle for Christmas like an on the border gift card because they really like that place and when we went and bought the 
than a gift card. If you like spent a certain amount on gift cards or something like that, you got $10 off a $30 order um, when you eat in the store or whatever. And so we're going to go use that because it literally expires tomorrow and I'm going in the office tomorrow so we can't use it tomorrow. So yeah, I think we're going to, I'm going to work today, maybe go to Dunkin' at some point and then my mom's going to pick me up after work. We're going to go to On the Border to use that gift card, have some good Mexican food, Mexican Monday, I guess. It's not Taco Tuesday this week, it's Mexican Monday. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and she's probably just going to like drop me off at choir um, by time like dinner's over and everything like that. Then that's for two hours. Then tomorrow I'm going into the office because the way my office works is like there's different structures. Like the first six weeks we're training and then after that we have two weeks of like boot camp and then we have um, four months of like a certain program that we're in called the academy which is kind of just like when we're first starting out. We have a meeting every morning, every afternoon. Um, people to help us out stuff like that and then after the four months are done we go to this place called residency where we have like the manager that we have for the next two years at work and I'm going to residency on the first and so we switch floors when we go with like a different team and so we're going from floor 12 to floor 14 so we're probably going to go in tomorrow because it's our last time sitting on floor 12 um, before we go up in the world and then Wednesday probably just work from home I don't know if I have anything plan probably go to the gym I've been going to the gym usually every like Tuesday Wednesday Friday one time I went on a Sunday um, definitely every Wednesday and Friday I've been going to the gym which I'm proud of myself for and I feel like really good too like it's been really good like I would definitely go more often just Monday nights I can't because I have choir Tuesday and Thursday Tuesdays if I go in it's kind of hard to go to the gym and then Thursdays if I go in I normally don't go home till like late and so it's harder to go to the gym but I'm trying to go on any day that I can um, and then normally I give myself either Saturday or Sunday off so yeah I've been talking for way too long but <laughs> then Wednesday chill day at home Thursday I'm gonna go into the office I don't know if there's like a fun happy hour or what's going on then Friday my grandparents are coming over for pizza so yeah um welcome to the vlog don't forget to subscribe before we get started and now it is 902 so I definitely need to start getting ready for my meeting at 9 30 so let's go get ready I also have had severe breakouts like okay the camera doesn't make it look like as bad as it really is because it truly has been bad like I don't know if I wasn't moisturizing enough or okay I did use this face mask from Lush that is pretty old at this point I've definitely had it for over a year definitely for sure I don't know exact probably more than that so I let went and used it my face felt really good and then I like started to kind of like break out and I was like, okay, is this like a rash? Is this just like a lot of pimples showing up out of nowhere? Like what's going on? I was supposed to get my period this week, but it happened like a, like a week ago, not a week ago, like a few days ago, like I started really breaking out and, um, I noticed the mask had honey in it and I never buy masks with honey because I'm allergic to bees. So I'm supposed to stay away from honey. So I'm thinking I got an allergic reaction from the mask because it doesn't all look like pimples on my face. It's like red mark, like blotchiness, like... I don't even know. You can't even tell, actually. It kind of got a little bit better, but you can definitely see that my face is, like, breaking out. And I'm upset because I'm one of those girlies who hate wearing makeup, so if my skin's good, I am not wearing makeup, but I've had to wear makeup for a little bit now. So, not too happy about that. But, yeah, I'm gonna go get ready. And I will be back. Or I'll just bring you to the bathroom with me. Let's, let's go. Okay, so for my recently acne prone skin, I have been trying to do a few things. So I've been trying to like just keep it as simple as possible. So I always use this in the morning, the Clean and Clear Morning Burst. I actually ordered a Cetaphil or a CeraV one that I heard is really good for acne. I might change it up a little. Maybe my skin just needs a facial adjustment change. So I use that, then I use a certain lotion and face wash that I'm going to use in the morning. I haven't been ice rolling just because I'm like, okay, if it's picking up on like bacteria from my face, it might be transferring to other parts of my face when I ice roll. So I haven't been doing that for about a week, which I really miss. I love ice rolling my face. And then at night, I have been doing this, just a basic like off-brand um, Aveeno lotion um, because it has oatmeal in it and that's supposed to be like really good for your face. 
and I'm like, okay, my face must be dry and has like long lasting moisture. It doesn't have anything that's like meant to prevent acne in it though, which is good because I can't have anything like that when I combine it with tea tree oil, which I've been using on my face to help with acne, acne scarring. It's good with like bacteria, like infections, stuff like that. And I can't use the regular lotion that I have because it's like acne prone lotion to prevent acne that I use normally. So I've been using that one and I feel like it's helping. I feel like it's helping my face. Um, but yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. I'm trying this out, but it's almost um, done with. It's like to here. So I have a, another face wash coming in the mail today. Um, I ordered it from Amazon and I also have two Hollister hauls to share with you guys. Or one Hollister haul. One part of the order is coming like later this week. So if it comes when I'm still vlogging, then I'll definitely show it to you guys. But I need to wash my face because I don't even know what time it is. I need to get going. It is 9.10, so I need to get going with washing my face. But I just wanted to share that oof, with you guys. I also have this cute face headband, but like, eh, I don't really care if my hair gets wet, honestly. So I start off with warm water. Then I do a pump and I really foam it up. I don't know why I'm sharing this with you guys, honestly. Um, but I figured it's more interesting than just watching me wash my face with music over it. So, yeah. And I love seeing people's face routines. And if I'm doing something wrong, that's like making myself have more acne, maybe someone in the comments or on the internet can tell me and then I can fix it gonna scrub this out rinse it off and uh see you in my room for my other parts of my skincare routine okay back in my room you're currently on like my ipad case i cannot find the thing that i normally like my camera stand thing but anyway i'm just gonna do my face routine real quick so i have like less or i have less than 15 minutes but i have tried this lemon joe lemon juice toner but i don't know if that's doing more harm than good to my face um, so I think I'm just going to do this Lush Aroma one, um, because it's natural, I guess. Lush products, mostly, for the most part. I don't even know if it's natural, though. It has fragrance in it. I'm trying to not use products with fragrance, but almost all of them do. My grandma's allergic to fragrance, fun fact, so we stop using things with fragrance in it, but not, like, face things, just, like, shampoo and body wash for, like, a while. But, yeah, then I'm going to use this Clean and Clear. I'm going to put like a lot of lotion like I've been doing more lotion so I was like maybe the problem is my face is just lacking moisture so put this on okay and as my lotion sets in and dries I'm gonna get dressed real quick okay got dressed I'm literally just wearing like shorts and this blue shirt because that's what they're gonna see on the call and it's not with anyone like super high up or like any of my customers or anything like that so totally fine that this is a more casual outfit i have been like having meetings like but with different people all last week and so i wore like a brown sweater that i got for christmas from my aunt for like all the meetings because i they were with different people every time so i just flipped on a cute brown sweater for every single meeting and now i think i'm gonna wear that into the office tomorrow so i'm not gonna wear it today but i've only worn it for like whatever like less than an hour every time that i've worn it and i also put like a notes app in my phone of like outfits that i want to wear for the next like two months just because i think i forget sometimes to like wear certain outfits and so i don't want to forget to wear them and i was so hyped for like winter and cold weather the weather cold weather in the office because I was like oh my gosh like winter is going to be so easy getting ready for work because I have like a bunch of sweaters and so I'll just wear a bunch of sweaters the whole months of like November, December, January, February and I've forgotten to wear like a lot of them and it's almost February um but it's probably because I only went in like I think two times in December so yeah that's why but I have a whole list in my phone of outfits that I'm gonna wear and when I'm gonna wear them and dates and outfit plans and things like that like here I'll show you like I have like my work fits and the dates that I'm gonna go in and what I'm gonna wear and I have like a ton of the outfits just laid out on my like beanbag chair right here which is fun and a mess and not cute i could probably just put them in my drawers but i don't want to forget to wear them so i keep them here 
But yeah, I'm gonna spray myself with perfume. I love when my perfume matches my outfit. Like this is blue with a blue sweatshirt. Like we love that. I like to smell good. And now all I have to do is my eyebrows. I got that really expensive eyebrow pencil from what's it called? Ulta. Like I think before I left for Disney and it was $26 because I could not find my little eyebrow pencils that I've been using since high school. Um, and then I found one at a perfect time because my other one ran out, my $26 one, um, that like, I think it's like the Benefit Brow, I don't even know where it's at. Oh wait, it's this one, like the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I really, really liked, but it's $26. And for Christmas, my mom got me a gift card to Ulta. She's like, use it on your eyebrow pencil or whatever, but I just haven't gotten a chance to go over there yet. So I've been using my old one on my eyebrows. And I actually dyed my eyebrows the other day, but like it's kind of wearing off already. And I don't have like a lot of eyebrow hairs. So dyeing my eyebrows is like kind of anticlimactic because I mean, they're definitely darker than they are if I didn't dye them. But like you can't, like I still won't go out like to work or something like that without penciling them in. Like I went to the store the other day with them just like dyed, but they're still very light. And I feel like when I have acne, if my eyebrows are darker, you notice the redness in my face less. I know this sounds so weird because you could totally notice it right now. But like if my eyebrows are even lighter, you can just totally notice like, wow, the red, but I don't know. Anyway, um, it is 924. So my meeting starts in like five minutes. I think I'm gonna do a quick, 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 quick Hollister haul um, of stuff that I ordered. So I went there um, a couple weekends ago to a mall um, because jeans were on sale. And then I realized the jeans were cheaper online than they were in the store. So I decided to order them online. So I ordered two pairs of jeans and a couple other things. So. Um, I wanted a light pair of like boot cut jeans because I have light pairs of jeans But they're all like straight legged. So like I feel like I wanted a pair of boot cuts So it looks cute when I like wear boots um, Or like heels or something at work and it just like kind of dresses up the outfit a little bit more. So I got these These actually look like straight jeans, but they're boot cut. They're just like slightly boot cut um, They're really cute. They're comfy. I wore them to work literally the day I got them um, or I guess like the day after like I got them in the mail and I just like flipped them on and I was like, okay I'm wearing these to work. Didn't even try them on. But then I also got a pair of jeans um, Cuz I Have like one pair of ripped jeans, but they're from high school and I don't think they fit like the best anymore And they're like, I don't know They're like super skinny jeans and they're just not comfortable anymore. They've been in the dryer too many times They're like tight like stiff like uncomfortable and these are the high rise super skinny, but the soft stretch. I don't think mine before were the soft stretch ones. Soft, soft stretch. So they're like cute. They're like ripped. Can't wear these to work because we can't wear ripped jeans. But we just got invited to an event for St. Patrick's Day for the River Dine in Chicago. And I might wear them to that event. We just got the email this morning. They're like having like a happy hour on a Saturday during the St. Patrick's Day parade and like river dying in downtown Chicago um, from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at this place called River Roast. So that's going to be super fun. I'm very, very excited for that um, work event on a Saturday, but like it's an open bar brunch, like right in front of the river. It's going to be so nice, all paid for and everything like that. Um, but then also from Hollister, just got this cute little purple top to wear to work or out or something like that. I need to like branch out on my outfits a little bit more and my color schemes and stuff like that. So I got this green shirt too. And then... I got this like shirt that, okay, it's literally a large, but like look how tiny it is. But it's, I think it stretches a lot, um, but it's like shimmery for like going out and stuff. So yeah, that is my little Hollister haul. I'm gonna get set up and get ready for my meeting. That's in, oh, I'm gonna put on my watch. Um, that's in like three minutes, but that's my little Hollister haul. I ordered a couple other things too. Um, and I think that order is expected to arrive like February 3rd, so this Friday, so I will remember to do a haul then. So yeah, I'm gonna go to my meeting. Thanks for uh, listening to me talk this morning, guys, because I feel like I've talked for basically 20 minutes straight, so sorry about that.
cue a little time lapse for my meeting. <laughs> Okay guys, just ended the meeting. Um, it was good, it is now 10.01, so it's like literally 30 minutes. But now I have to just draft up a few emails, make a few calls, um, do some things. So I'm just gonna probably take a time lapse of that. So yeah, um, done with the first meeting of today. Now I don't have one until one o'clock, so that's pretty nice. Okay guys, worked for a little bit, sorry for the glare. Um, but as I was working, I just wanted to organize something under my desk so it's easier for me to have a clearer desk and just have a bin to throw everything else in. So I'm putting stuff in another bin so I have an empty bin. Um, but anyway, when I was going through that bin, I got sent this literally when I was in my college dorm. So probably almost a year ago at this point from this company called Omo Jewelry. And I don't think I ever like shared this with you guys, um, like what they sent me and everything. And it was super cute packaging. Like they had, I don't know, it was just super cute. And I don't think I ever did that. So I'm so sorry if they ever see this. Um, but I thought I would just show them and share and everything. So I got this cute little mini clip, which is very good for my thin hair. And then they sent me like a cute little note and everything um, in the box. And you could go follow them on Instagram it's at o h m o jewelry um you can go follow them but yeah and it's this lovely gift for brianna i think it's so cute and i'm so mad at myself for never sharing this because they were like so nice but i got a cute little like gold chain okay the glare is really bad like gold chain necklace which is like a cute little just like staple and then the jewelry it came in like this cute little bag and then i also got earrings that came in this bag um that are really really cute they're just cute little tiny gold hoops if you can see that if my camera will choose to focus Okay, it's not focusing, but they're cute, tiny gold hoops. And then this really pretty ring. Here, I'm gonna switch the angle. This is the ring. It is super, super pretty and cute. And then I'll just go ahead and see if this will focus for the earrings. These are super cute and they have little detail like on the side of them, which is very cute cute if it'll ever focus so yeah a little detail super cute never showed this to you guys i'm so sorry but yeah i was going through this bin and found it in here but now i'll keep all the jewelry out and actually like wear it because everything's super cute so yeah just thought i'd share this with you guys but yeah, I'm just really quickly putting mostly everything from this bin into this bin so that I have this bin to throw stuff that's just on my desk and taking up space into here whenever I need to like clear off my desk and stuff like that. This perfume from Pink used to be iconic hot crush. I used to love this stuff. Okay guys, I've just been working. Um, I just got myself a yogurt. I just got like these two good yogurts and this is one I've never tried before. It's mandarin orange flavor. I've only had the vanilla and the strawberry. So this will be interesting. They didn't have the strawberry when I was at Target this weekend. So I got the mandarin orange and vanilla. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and try it. Interesting, kinda tastes like an orange creamsicle. Pretty good. So I'm probably gonna eat this yogurt now. It's like 11.26. And then I'll probably have some like eggs or something like that in like an hour or two. I'm gonna eat my yogurt and keep working. And I also have to edit because I want my video, a video that I want up today. I skipped last week of posting because my video was ready, but it was ready on Tuesday. And for the first two weeks of the new year, I posted on Tuesday at like 11 a.m. because my video wasn't ready on Monday, my normal posting day. And I just like didn't like, I feel like the video wasn't engaged with as much. It didn't get as many views, which is fine. It's just like Monday's like my posting day. You know, it's not Tuesday. And Tuesday I couldn't stick with because sometimes I go in the office on Tuesdays and it would be hard to post every Tuesday and I just want like a day and a time. So I already probably missed my Mondays at a 12 p.m. But hopefully I can get this video up by like 2. I know my iPad's dead so I have to charge it. But yeah, that's the vibe.
I'm just gonna work and eat and edit, hopefully. Talk to you later. Okay guys, basically finished editing. Um, I didn't take any time lapses or anything, but now it is one o'clock and it's time for my one to one thirty meeting and then I have a meeting from one thirty to two. Okay guys, that meeting is now done. It is 2.09, so it ended a few minutes ago, um, but now I think I'm going to go to Dunkin' and I'm probably going to place like five separate orders and they're going to be so annoyed of me, but I'm going to work tomorrow so I can't go to Dunkin' tomorrow unless like I go at night because I don't think tomorrow will be like a late night at work. I don't think there's like a major happy hour, but we're switching managers like I explained the whole thing before, like the first four months we have a certain manager, then we go to a new manager, and so I think our old manager, almost old manager is taking us out um for like drinks or something like he might after work tomorrow so i don't think it'll be like a super late night so i could definitely go to duncan after i get home from work tomorrow i don't even know i'm stressing over duncan like deals like i'm lame this is what my life is um <laughs> but uh yeah i think i'm just gonna go to duncan and like order three things that are like the best rewards and then just save them in the fridge for like later in the week or uh, Wednesday or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to clock out now and I'm hungry too. I was going to make two eggs and like a piece of toast, but I think I'm going to wait till I get home to do that. So let's go to Duncan for the first time all year. Well, okay ordering like coffee all year um i haven't had like i said i've had coffee one time this year and it was just like to be nice um that i went and got the coffee um because someone was taking us like people from work and it was only coffee like i was gonna order like chai tea or something and they just didn't have it and then i went to duncan to get hot chocolate so i'm excited to be going to duncan and i have like people at duncan like okay <laughs> like i'm known in the drive through at duncan like we pull up and they're like oh for brianna and i'm like oh my gosh that was intense how did my laptop just fall over um anyway i'm getting too excited about talking about duncan but like they know me in the drive through at duncan so they probably thought i died or something because i haven't been there in a month but I'm hoping my people are working today so they get excited that I'm back. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm now back from Duncan. Um, so I decided to say I did a good job by not drinking Duncan for basically all of January. Um, I'm gonna look up the last time I went because I think I have gone a month without Dunkin' um, like coffee and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just look at my transaction history. So the last time I went, okay, never mind. It was on New Year's Eve. I was thinking like maybe it was like the 29th or 30th or something like that. But anyway, I went basically a month without drinking Dunkin'. I just was like less than two days off. So I did a good job, whatever. I got a medium cold brew for $2 um, if I purchase something. And so I always purchase the least expensive thing that Duncan has, which are their hash browns. So here, um, and then I also, for a reward, have a free, um, I for, no, I think got a $2. No, this was not $2. This was a free medium cold brew if I ordered something, which was the hash browns. Then I placed a second order and I got a $2 medium hot or iced latte. And I decided to try the brown butter or coffee one or something like that. I haven't, or no, brown butter toffee, coffee, brown butter toffee flavored latte coffee um i haven't tried it yet because it's really hot um but i realized the only thing i had today was the yogurt so i'm gonna go ahead and just make two eggs real quick to eat along with my hash browns so i'm gonna make those really fast and i say really fast because i have a meeting at three and it is 2:48. so i'm gonna make two eggs Okay, all cooked. My two eggs, garlic salt on top, a piece of bread underneath that, four hash browns, and some ketchup. I'm gonna eat really, really quick before my meeting in six minutes. Okay, I just inhaled that breakfast, those eggs and stuff, and I got yolk all over my pants and had to go rinse it off because I was trying to eat quick. 
but yeah um now it is literally three o'clock so time to join the meeting so i don't know if i'll do a time lapse again for this one because you've already seen like three time lapses today so i'll probably just talk to you guys after the meeting cheers what time is it amazon time okay <laughs> that was i wanted to do like a more high school musical thing with like what time is it but i just didn't anyway okay um huge amazon box going on probably the biggest one i've ever gotten from amazon because normally my orders come individually but i got two things okay that was a total waste of the box they actually don't even take up that much space look at this like it's mostly just padding for things that didn't need padding you know like these things it's mostly filled with these and both my things aren't fragile so anyway first thing is a purse so i don't know if i'm gonna unwrap this i'm gonna try to as best as i can but this purse is not for me um it's for my mom it's my mom's birthday this saturday um, and I think I'm going to vlog the weekend of her birthday because it's kind of going to be fun. I have like stuff planned. Well, I guess I could talk about it. So Friday, my grandparents are coming over after I finish work um, at night um, around like 4.30 or 5. My mom took off work, but like not for her birthday, just to like get things done. And she is taking off work. They're going to come over Friday night and we're going to like order food, probably pizza or something like that. And we're gonna like hang out with my grandparents for my mom's birthday. But then Saturday is her real birthday and I bought her a couple presents, which this is maybe one of them. I might save this present that I just got for her for Mother's Day and just be prepared for Mother's Day because I am spending like a good amount on her because for her birthday, okay, so I got her two or three gifts for her birthday that I'll go show to you after this. Um, but then I also am doing like a little spa day and we're going to this like spa, like in our downtown area. Um, it sounds so fancy. Like it's not like a day spa. I mean, it's like a fancy, I don't know. They were getting pedicures done and then I might have us do like massages or maybe like just a massage for my mom. Um, I don't prefer massages, honestly. Um, uh, we got one, I think for my 18th birthday. Um, then it was okay. I also had like a cough during it. So I was like holding my breath while the person was massaging me. So I wasn't coughing the whole time so that might have been a factor but then i also got one um in like march and like of this year at a totally different place and it it was weird like i didn't like the oils being rubbed on me and it was i don't know like it wasn't bad it was just like i didn't feel like amazing after it so maybe i'll just leave the massage for my mom to get um but anyway i'm gonna get her presents the spa day um we're gonna go to jojo's shake bar and get this margarita tower thing that they have and then i'm gonna take her out to dinner so i'm already spending a good amount um so i might save this present for mother's day but this present that i've been talking about for the last three minutes that you guys don't know what I'm talking about but I'm saying I'm gonna save until Mother's Day is this cute purse I think it's so cute like a nice pink color it's like a good size not too big not too small um, and it also comes with like a little thing like purse inside and comes with this like little I don't know what this would like a makeup bag you know kind of looks like a makeup bag um, and then a cute little like side purse thing you know like this little handheld purse so i got her this and then the second thing i got from amazon just now i got these cookies these mini chocolate chip cookies um that i saw at target and they're supposed to be like keto cookies but at target it was 3.99 for one pack but on amazon it was like 19 for 14 packs so it was a much better deal on amazon so i decided to get this and i think i'm gonna do a little taste test right now to see how they are just try them out most of this vlog in this week is probably going to be today oh that's a disappointment so they're smaller packs hmm did not know that okay so they're really tiny at target it was bigger than this okay they're this is okay no wonder it's 70 calories per pack there's like three cookies in here okay um here's the size of a cookie they're made with almond flour and you can totally tell they aren't bad, but 
I thought it was going to be a huge box, not this tiny thing and this tiny pack. They're pretty good, but I don't know if it's worth my money. Oh well. I think I paid for it from a gift card from work, so I guess it's not that bad. But I'm going to show you the other presents I got for my mom's birthday. Okay, so the other present I got her was a pair of pajamas. It's like a pretty pink slash magenta color. Um, and it like has black outlining, I guess. And also a bracelet. She's been wanting just like a plain tennis bracelet, I guess. Um, also the cookie kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Ugh, now I'm bad I bought them. Um, but I got her this bracelet. Pretty cute. And the last thing I got her, I'm not going to take out of the box. Well, I guess who cares? Um, I got her seat warmers for her car. Our car doesn't have seat warmers. And whenever we go in one of her friend's cars to like hang out and like go places and stuff, she has seat warmers. My mom always loves it. So I got her a seat warmer to put on her seat. And you like plug it into like the, um, what's it called? The electric thing, you know what I mean? In the car, the charging outlet makes your seat warm, which I thought was pretty cool since we don't have heated seats in the car. So yeah, I got her the pajamas, the bracelet, and the heated seats, and then maybe the purse. Um, but then I'm gonna actually, I should call because I have not made the appointments yet for our spa day. So I should probably do that or else we'll have nothing to do on her birthday. So maybe I'll call right now, but I'm also still working. So I should like probably work, but I just wanted to show you guys those things because I just got the notification that my Amazon package was delivered. So yeah, I'm gonna go call the spa <laughs> for her birthday and make appointments. This is probably at least 20 minutes of the vlog right now. I'm sorry. Or wait, should I just make this a day in my life video? Okay guys, I'm almost done with work. I don't know if my mom and I are gonna go to the restaurant today or tomorrow. Um, now we're both like not that hungry because I literally ate at like two o'clock, um, almost three o'clock. And so I don't know if we're gonna go today or tomorrow, but I'll keep you updated. I'm still working. I have a presentation tomorrow um, from nine to 10 a.m. Um, with two of my managers. And so I am just kind of working on that and then clocking out soon so yeah that's the plan haven't vlogged much in the last like hour but i'm just working like actually working and not giving you hauls and stuff okay we decided we're going out to eat i think this is just going to be the fit sweatpants and a sweatshirt it's just on the border um and then we're gonna go out to eat and then i have to be to my choir by 7 30 and like i said before that's 7 30 to 9 30 then i'm gonna get home wash my hair and prep for work tomorrow <laughs> Done with dinner, now I'm at choir. Okay guys, showered, everything like that. I'm talking funny because I have my whitening strips in. It is now like 10.20. I'm gonna probably just watch TV and go to bed and I'll see you at six in the morning. <laughs> 